Ladies and gentlemen, this is Abdullah from Freedom for All. I'm back here with the seventh episode of Weekly Nugget series. The quote for this week is, Who knows what you are imagining? No one knows, but you can sit down and imagine, and no one can stop you from doing it. But can you give reality to the imagined state? If you do, yes, a bridge of incidents will appear in your world, and you walk across some series of events leading up to the fulfillment of the imaginal state. But don't give causation to any physical step that you took towards the fulfillment of it. He asks first, who knows what you, as an individual, is imagining? There is nobody who knows what you are doing with himself. From any situation, you are free to imagine anything. Neville also asks, if you can give reality to what you are imagining, you first have to accept beyond all doubt that your imagination is the only reality and the world you are living in is just shadowing the imagined state that you are giving reality to. Giving reality to your imagined end means to accept it as a fact and feeling it to be real. Acceptance and feeling are kind of proportionate. Usually, if you feel something real, you accept it. But here, if you reverse this, I mean, if you accept first through your persistent assumption, you will feel it to be true. Continuing the quote, if you do, if you give reality to your imagined state, yes, a bridge of incidents will appear in your world, and you walk across some series of events leading up to the fulfillment of the imaginal state. Now, bridge of incidents are the events you experience at the middle of your journey towards your goal. You, as a human, could perceive these events easily, difficultly, or even neutrally. How tough or how simple these events seem to you, they are taking you towards your desired end. Bridges stay at the middle between the starting point and the ending point. So remember, bridges are not the end. If something happens and you accept it as an end result, then you are not living in the end. You are living in the middle. This is basically where many people struggle. They sometimes end up living in the middle by giving causation to what they have experienced at the bridge. Neville said not to give any power to external causes that you may experience at the middle. He said, but don't give causation to any physical step that you took towards the fulfillment of it. There really is no second cause to anything that happens in your life. If you experience something you find hard to accept during the journey, don't blame that event or don't accept it as the ultimate end. If something good happens while you experience the bridges, you don't need to give credit to that. Give credit to your own wonderful infinite imagination that is your truest self. Be grateful to that. Be grateful to God. Don't give away the power to any event. Don't give away the power to any circumstance. Of course, some of the things that happen at, at the bridge are the results of your unconscious imagination. Even if you sometimes are less aware of what you are doing with yourself, just be faithful and remind yourself with the truth that if you accept any end to be true and then feel it real, then it must become a visible fact. So that was the nugget for this week. If you have any question, feel free to ask here. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.